worried about like, you know, everything being uh, uploaded every fucking second. Like no one will ever have seen those moments. No. And it's like, <laughs> like when that, that that will come on to another subject that I wanted to talk about. <laughs> okay, I'll write it but, down. Um, but also, Mark Maron, you were when Mark Maron and Dove Dove Davidoff got in a fight at the comedy store. I get into it, but like I've never seen. I mean, I've done it all, all, over twenty five years now. I mean, I've I've never seen comedians like fist fight. What, dude? I mean, Steve Byrne. Someone came on stage at him once. It was like Brett Ernst and Steve Byrne in the OR. And someone in the audience, you know, like came. At well, yeah, him. I'm saying comedians fighting each oh, other, God, like yeah, yeah. boom, 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 yeah, yeah. shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> no, you we don't. Fucking loon. No. <laughs> Good God. But um, loon. Yeah, I did Mark Maron's podcast. I've known Mark forever since I started, and uh, I did his podcast back in the day when it first was starting up. And he goes, um, "Yeah, thanks for doing this. Um, <laughs> you know, I've always hated you." <laughs> And I go, what? What are you talking about? And he goes, yeah, yeah, I, uh, yeah, I always hated you. And I go, I've known you for fucking like almost twenty five. I thought we were friends this whole time. He goes, no, we are, we are. But I just, uh, yeah, I just fucking hated you. You know, you were, you were young and you were funny, and you just came in so hot with all this heat. And I was like, fuck this guy, man, fuck him. And I was like. For decades, you thought that every time you saw me, every time I said hi to you and like hugged you or like, you just were thinking, man, fuck this fucking guy. I'm like, can comedians be more psycho? Like, good God, fucking lunatic. I know. I remember the first time. And Mark, I feel like he's in a very good place now. Well, that podcast helped a lot, you know. Yeah, yeah. Well, for sure. Because he was able to just rant. He also was, was like doing what he was doing at a time where like Ray Romano and Seinfeld and all these like sunny people that were like making jokes about like answering machines. And uh, they would hand you a, I mean, they'd be like, develop a sitcom around you. Here's five so, million dollars. Yeah, it was just insane. I mean, I wasn't a part of that era, you know, but like Whitney was. But uh, yeah, so then there was an era of comics that missed that like all this money in sitcoms and i always felt like mark he got like development deals and stuff but if then, you weren't like network friendly well that's what the point i was getting get... to before you interrupted okay me. well can we this is Good god no i'm talking fast <laughs> i mean i'm not a fucking adderall fucking mannequin over here good god okay dakota johnson jesus fucking mannequin in a haunted house Jesus, Lord in heaven, pray, pray for me that I get out of this fucking Adobe alive, wherever I am. <laughs> anyway, I don't even remember what I was talking about. Oh yeah, Mark was one of those guys, it's like, he always felt like, I don't have a fucking sitcom. I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, yeah, Mark, NBC primetime, you can't have a show like, all right, we've got this fall, Seinfeld. And then, you know, Friends. And then the new show by Mark Maron. Hey, fuck you, man. Like, that can't be a show, Mark. So I think that's what happened. And now he's fine. <laughs> Do you have to go potty? <laughs> anyway, we'll be right back. <laughs> we'll be right back. Oh, God, why aren't you doing a podcast? I know I might do a podcast. It's so fucking Fuck it. bratty. Like you're such a brat. I am. To not have a podcast, to be able to just like sit in your home, or to be able to sit on the beach in Key West where you live in a sandcastle. Yeah. So 